Nevada County peeps, Juan Brown checking in here on the topic of how to live a more frugal life. I don't have time to type, so I'll try this video response. Love this topic, great suggestions on Nevada County peeps. Good job, uh, shout out to Beth Moore for um, setting up Nevada County peeps on Facebook. So from the School of Hard Knocks at 52 years old, uh, I would say the number one expense we all face is housing. Housing is our single biggest expense. Don't believe the real estate baloney about uh, your house is your biggest investment. It's not so much an investment, it's an expense. It's a living expense. So anything you can do to lower your living expense, your housing expense, will go a long way towards living frugally. And with that, of course, comes all the additional utilities of a house. If you can live without air conditioning, do it. If you can heat with wood, try that. The more affordable house means the more affordable taxes that you're going to pay. The next topic after housing, I'd say, is be debt-free. Interest rates on credit just wipes you out. Be debt-free. Pay yourself first, at least 10% if you can, into that savings account. Get enough savings built up. 10 grand or so, five grand, something so that when big expenses come up, you can pay cash for them and you're not putting it on a credit card. That wipes out all your frugality. Then if you've been living the frugal lifestyle when it, and you get to a point where you can start investing, you're in a good position to become a good investor because you're already pretty frugal. You'll know that pretty quick you want to invest in no load uh, index funds no load low cost investments recommend doing it yourself and just accumulate your money slowly no get rich quick scheme to it at all keep the expenses on your investments as low as possible and then finally your personal life you got to find a spouse that's gonna stay on board with you with your frugal lifestyle for the long term. If you're going to get married, I highly suggest a prenup agreement. Not so much that the prenuptial agreement itself uh, can save you, but just going through the process of clearly spelling out who's bringing what to the relationship and, and how you want to live this frugal lifestyle will go a long way throughout the rest of your relationship. All right, great thread here. Keep up the good suggestions. Let's see what you got.